This video is one in a series of videos that cover database topics in three themes. We look at Oracle Apex, Application Express for web applications, relational database concepts for designing and building databases, and SQL, the programming language for working with a relational database. If you want to work with the video series, you can go to this URL to get the scripts and handouts. In this video, we are going to create a schema in Oracle XE. This schema or account will be used by Apex. We will create a workspace in Apex, and a workspace contains all the design elements for a web application, such as what we're building in these tutorials. The schema is at the database level, and it contains all the database objects, tables, constraints, triggers, sequences, and so on. The first thing I did in preparation for this video is I downloaded the scripts in a zipped file that are made available so you and I can work through the tutorials. So I have the zip file downloaded to ctemp, and I've unzipped it so I have a folder where I have a lot of files that I will use as I go through the tutorials. The first one I want is Create Schema. So I can double click on that and it might open up in Notepad. It might not, so you might want to open Notepad and then open that file. In my case, it already knows that I want to use Notepad. I will want to copy these commands in a minute. I've also logged in to SQL Developer, and I'm logged in as the System Administrator, which we saw in the original video when we installed Oracle XC. So what I want to do is copy these commands, there are several, and paste them in. And then I will click this little icon here, Run Script, which will run all these commands. So I'll run those, and I see everything succeeded. Be sure that you use this icon because it will run all the commands shown here at one time. I know that I now have an account or a schema called animal underscore shelter and the password right now is my underscore password. You can change that to whatever you want it to be. You don't have to keep it that way. but we're going to use this account in Apex and associate it with a workspace. So to connect to Apex, I will log in to internal, and I'm using internal only when I want to be the Apex administrator. So we used admin, which is the default name for the administrator when we did the install and upgrade. And the first time you log in, you might be prompted to change the password. If you are, make that change. So I'm going to log in, and it looks like I got something wrong, so I'll re-enter the data. I know I'm logged in as administrator because I can see that information in the upper right corner. I want to manage workspaces, and I want to create a workspace. I'm going to call this animal space shelter. I can't have spacing in the name of objects in the database, but I can have spacing in some of the names of elements in Apex. I don't have to fill in workspace ID or description. We see that this is required. These are not. I will click Next. Use existing schema. Yes, I'm going to use the schema we just created, and I don't need to fill in the schema password or space quota. Notice it's prompting me here and suggesting some other privileges that I didn't create in the script for the schema, but I think we'll be fine. We can always add those later if we need them. So I'm going to click Next. And the administrator name, instead of leaving it as admin, which could be very confusing because we already have an admin for Apex overall, I'm going to have AS for animal shelter underscore admin. I'll fill in the rest. And I have to put an email address in. It conforms to the syntax for an email address, but it doesn't actually have to be a valid email address. I simply made this up. We will not 
make the email feature functional during this set of tutorials, but sometimes we will have to use or provide an email address, valid or not. So now I'm going to click Next, and then click Create Workspace, and I get this message, and I can click Done. So let me say once again, we created a schema at the database level, and that's called animal underscore shelter. Inside of Apex, we created a workspace called animal space shelter, and that is a container that will have all the design elements for our web applications. In the next video, we will log in to that workspace and begin looking at how we use Apex to do things to build an application and to work with objects in the database. Remember the naming conventions for related videos in this tutorial series. The Apex videos are 00 through 12, 14, whatever, however many videos there are. If there's a related database video for a specific video, let's say I've at Apex 02, then that name is going to be, for the database, is going to be Apex 02 DB and then the number of that video series. Because for this one Apex video, I might end up having two or even three videos about the database concepts. There'll be some Apex videos that have none of these, but this is how you can access the database videos specific to that Apex video. And the same thing would go if I have Apex, let's say 03, I have something specific I want to cover in SQL. That would be SQL and 01 through SQL 03. So I would have 1, 2, 3 all of these relating to the Apex video 03. Hopefully that'll help.